Hey everyone, welcome back to DDP. Today we're going to learn how to create the nose cone out of cardstock and duct tape, as well as how to decorate our rocket with the colorful duct tape for your theme. The nose cone is most important for the rocket flight, for stability and aerodynamics. We did some research about the nose cone, so it's up to you to decide if you would like to have a long skinny nose cone or a short wide nose cone. We're going to make it out of cardstock and duct tape. The colorful duct tape is going to go on your rocket taped from the bottom or the nozzle end and go all the way up to your nose cone. The duct tape is going to serve as our aesthetic appeal that will fit with your theme and also provide some extra stability. Now let's learn how to get our nose cone on and tape up. The materials we're going to need for our nose cone include cardstock, duct tape, colorful duct tape, scissors, a writing utensil such as a pencil or a marker. The first thing we need to do when we are building our nose cone is take a look at the top of your rocket. In this case, my bottle is a little bit on the larger side. If you have a smaller bottle, you are going to need to adjust the size of your nose cone so that your nose cone is smaller. I'm going to take my cardstock. I'm going to turn my hand and grab the corner on the landscape edge. That's the long edge of your paper. And I'm going to curl it in. And see, somewhere towards the center, there's this point where the, the curl starts, I'm going to take my other corner and I'm going to crease a point at the top. And then I'm going to fold it over so I have a party hat or a cone shape. To see that again, I'm going to turn my hand and grab this corner. I'm going to go towards the center and crease a point. And then I'm going to bring the other side and curl it around. Then on the inside, you can see the corner. I can take that and I can twist my hand and I can tighten the cone. So you need to decide if you want a long skinny cone or if you would prefer a shorter wider cone. The key is to make sure that the point does not have a large gap or hole. We want it to be nice and tight and closed up. Then I'm going to take my bottle and I'm going to place it inside my cone. I have a large gap there so my cone is too wide. I'm going to tighten this up, hold this firmly in my hand, and now I have less space so I know I'm on the right track. Once I have this firmly in place, with no gap, I'm going to take my duct tape and I'm going to tape it in place. Then I'm going to place it on my rocket and I'm going to squeeze down and I can feel a lot of give so I know my bottle is not touching. Then as I come closer, I can feel that firm bottle underneath and it's more difficult for me to press down so I know my bottle is touching right around here. And then as I get more towards the end, I can move the cardboard again so there's no bottle touching here. This is important because we need to trim this cone because we have extra material. I'm gonna take my writing utensil. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use a pencil, a pen, whatever you have. I like to use a Sharpie or a marker because it's easy to draw and see the line. So right around here, I'm going to start a line. This doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get as close as possible because we can always trim later. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to keep it in place and I'm going to turn the cone. Again, you can see my line is a little squiggly. It does not have to be perfectly straight. We just want to make sure it is close to straight and we are going to get up to the line where we left off. We don't wanna be way off out over here. Now that I have that line around the bottom of my cone, that's where I'm going to be trimming the cone. 
page. I take my scissors and I'm going to trim the cone on the line. If you're unsure, you can always leave a little extra because you can always take more material off. It's more difficult to add material if you trim too much off. Now I have my cone and I'm going to place it onto my rocket. Here, I want, I'm looking to see if I have a smooth transition. I actually do have a little bit of a gap, so I'm gonna trim a little bit more off. This is a much better fit. I have a nice smooth transition. I'm gonna use a piece of duct tape I want to make sure my cone is nice and straight. I'm going to use one piece of duct tape and then I'm going to rotate to the other side, checking for the straightness. And you can see my nose cone is attached. I'm going to take a longer piece of duct tape and I'm going to wrap it around for a little bit more stability. Now for my main body, I have my nose cone, my payload section, my body, and my fuel tank. Once you have a duct tape of a pattern and color of your choice, you're going to put strips of the duct tape starting from the nozzle end all the way up to the nose cone. We wanna make sure that the duct tape is as straight and smooth as possible. I'm going to peel off the start of my duct tape. I'm going to start from the nozzle end and I want to leave some space between the nozzle and the start of the duct tape because on the launcher it clamps uh, around this ridge right here and we want to make sure that the duct tape does not get in the way of that clamp. I'm going to position my duct tape gently and I'm going to keep this taut or just tight enough where I'm not pulling but it's nice and smooth and I'm going to release the duct tape and lay it flat. Over here is where my point is for my nose cone. So I'm going to trim the duct tape at the nose cone. If you have a sibling or a parent at home, it might be helpful if they hold the rocket so yours doesn't turn on you. Then I'm going to smooth the duct tape down. Try to keep it so that there are no ridges or bumps. It might not be perfect, but we want to make sure we do our best that we can. And now I have one strip of duct tape and I'm going to rotate this and do the next strip. And I'm going to continue until I go all the way around.
did it. You have your entire main body completely assembled and taped in your colorful duct tape. It includes your nose cone, your payload section, your body, and your propulsion chamber or your fuel tank. The next step is to assemble our pre-made fins to our propulsion chamber or our fuel tank. I will show you how to lay out the position and attach them in the next video. See you there.